Hello friends, welcome you all to my YouTube channel. Friends, today we are going to study multiple choice questions on a novella Animal Farm written by George Orwell. Friends, it was written in 1945. This is an allegory. Allegory is a story where on surface level you have one meaning and when you analyze you have another meaning. That is there is a story beyond story or story behind story. So friends, apparently Animal Farm is a story of animals who come together and who overthrow the rule of their master Mr. Jones in the hope that they will have their own rule, they will have their own power which will bring equality, which will bring happiness in their lives but which never happens in reality. So friends, we see that there is a parallel to the incidents in this novella with the incidents that took place in Russia during 1917 to 1945. 1917 is the year when Russian revolution or Bolshevik revolution took place and 1945 is the year when second world war ended. That is second world war uh, it was started in 1939 and it ended in 1945. So friends many animals or all animals in this novella they represent some real life people from Russia. Also the incidents in this novella they represent some real life incident in Russia. So friends this novella is a kind of satire, is a kind of a criticism against Russian communism. So it is a criticism but it is not only a criticism against Russian communism, but it is a criticism against all sorts of totalitarianism that is a dictatorships in any country in any form. So friends, in this video, we will try to learn this novel through multiple choice questions. So in the course of learning answers to multiple choice questions, I will try to analyze the allegory, the story behind story in this novella. So friends, let us begin. Question number one. What is sugar candy mountain in animal farm? Options are A. The name of the lullaby that Napoleon forces the pigeons to sing to his 31 piglets. B. The idea of animal heaven propagated by Moses the raven. C. The setting for the story that Molly tells to the lambs and D. The mountain visible on animal farm's horizon. So, sugar candy mountain. Okay, what is sugar candy mountain? It is the idea of animal heaven propagated by Moses the raven. So, it is answer B, option B which is correct. Question number two. Who teach animals a song called Beasts of England? Options are A. Old Major, B. Napoleon, C. Snowball and D. Squealer. So it is this song Beasts of England which gives inspiration, motivation to animals okay, to bring a rebellion, to make a rebellion against owner that is Mr. Jones. So it is Old Major who teach animals this song beasts of England. So option A is the correct answer. Question number three. I'll work harder and Napoleon is always right. Whose maxims are these? Whose mottos are these? Okay, so here options are A. Squealer, B. Molly, C. Benjamin and D. Boxer. So here these are the mottos of a boxer. Boxer is a horse. And he would always say, I will work harder and Napoleon is always right. So option D is the correct answer. Question number four. Animal farm can be described as a tale. tale that is story against dash. Marxism, totalitarianism, national socialism, communism. So basically, though apparently we find that it is a tale, it is a story or it is a satire against communism but 
it is basically it is satire against any form of totalitarianism that is dictatorship okay so option b is the correct answer question number 5 which pair is wrongly matched options are a napoleon joseph stalin b snowball leon trotsky c mr jones zar nicholas ii and d animal farm england so animal farm is an allegory where these animals in this novel or the places in this novel they represent some real life persons so here there are three pairs which are correct and one pair which is wrong so the wrong pair is animal farm which does not represent england so actually animal farm in the story it represents russia it represents russia in real life and here options a b c those are the correct options because napoleon in animal farm it represents joseph stalin the uh, president of russia during the second world war or after lenin then option b snowball is another big character in the novella and that represents leon trotsky another leader in russia and option c that is mr jones who is the owner of manor farm now that mr jones represents tsar nicholas ii okay who was the king of russia in 1917 okay when bolshevik re revolution took place so here option d is the wrongly matched question number 6 when did the battle of cowshed take place options are a october 11 b november 12 c october 12 d october 20 so in the novella in this novel it is mentioned that this battle of cowshed it takes place on october 12 option c is the correct answer question number 7 which is the original commandment options are a no animal shall drink alcohol to excess b no animal shall sleep in a bed with sheets c four legs good two legs better d no animal shall kill any other animal so friends here it is in the novel that these animals particularly pigs they make seven commandments which animals all animals have to follow but in the course of the time some commandments are changed all those commandments they are written on the wall they are painted on the walls and all these animals uh, they see those commandments every day okay but in the course of the time some commandments are changed by pigs so here there are three commandments which are changed and there is one commandment which is not changed so option d that is no animal shall kill any other animal is the original commandment whereas options a b c they are the commandments which are changed they are not original commandment question number 8 the only good human being is a dead one who said to whom so this is a quotation and it is asked that who said this quotation to whom options are a snowball to boxer b squealer to boxer c napoleon to benjamin and d old major to animals so actually there is battle of cowshed where these animals they uh, fight this battle very bravely and they win this battle under the leadership of snowball but uh, in this battle um, there is one casualty or that one uh, farmer's boy farmer's son is killed at the hands of uh, this boxer so boxer regrets this action and then snowball convinces him and says that the only good human being is a dead one you don't have to regret so option a is the correct answer snowball to boxer question number 9 fountain of happiness lord of the swill bucket these lines are composed in praise of so there is a praise of leader and there is one pig who composes a very beautiful song and uh, that song replaces the original song beast of england and there are these lines in that song fountain of happiness lord of the swill bucket and these lines are in the praise of napoleon 
these lines are in the praise of Napoleon. So option C is the correct answer. Question number 10. What Russian institution does Moses the Raven evoke? Options are A, the secret police, B, the Congress, C, the education system, D, the Russian Orthodox Church. So here, as this novella is an allegory, where you have on surface level one story and uh, at deeper level another meaning. So these animals, they represent some uh, real life figures or the incidents, they represent uh, real life incidents. So here, there is this Moses. Okay, Moses. So that Moses is a bird in this uh, no novella and that represents the Russian Orthodox Church that represents the Russian Orthodox Church. So option D is the correct answer. Question number 11. Animal Farm was published in. So it's a fact based question that you have to remember. Options are A 1943, B 1945, C 1955 and D 1950. So Animal Farm was published in 1945. Option B is the correct answer. Question number 12. Who is the owner of Manor Farm before the rebellion? Okay. So actually this rebellion takes place at the beginning and all these animals, they rebel against the owner of Manor Farm. So the question is, uh, who is the owner of Manor Farm? Okay. Options are A, Mr. Jones, B, Mr. Pilkington, C, Mr. Frederick, D, Old Major. So Mr. Jones is the owner of Manor Farm before the rebellion and these animals, they overthrew the rule of Mr. Jones and they have their own rule later on. Option A is the correct answer. Question number 13, which is the setting of Animal Farm? Okay, so setting refers to the time and place. Time and place in that novella. So here, this setting is related to the place. So options are A, France, B, Russia, C, England, D, America. So here, the setting of Animal Farm is England. Because this animal farm is a farm in England. It is said in this novella. Though it represents, animal farm represents real life Russia. But here the setting is England. So option C is the correct answer. Question number 14. Which animal hides during the battle of cowshed? So in the battle of cowshed all animals they fought very bravely. But there is only one animal which hides. Okay during this battle of cow shed. So options are A, Clover, B, JC, C, Molly and D, Boxer. So it is Molly who hides herself during the battle of cow shed. Option C is the correct answer. Question number 15. Who does Napoleon sell the farm's pile of timber to? Options are A, Mr. Pilkington, B, Mr. Frederick, C, Mr. Jones and D, Snowball. So, Napoleon sells the farm's pile of timber to Mr. Frederick. Option B is the correct answer. Question number 16. How many letters is Boxer able to learn? Options are A, 0. B, 6 letters, the number of different letters in Napoleon's name. C, 3 letters, A, B, C. And D, 4 letters, A through D. That is A, B, C, D. So, this boxer is able to learn four letters. Option D is the correct answer. Question number 17. What best describes Snowball? So Snowball is one of the leaders, rulers of that animal farm, companion, comrade of Napoleon. So how you can describe this Snowball? What words describe Snowball? Options are A. Cunning, treacherous, little. B. Passionate, intelligent, a gifted speech maker. C. Pompous, destructive, ingratiating. D. Backstabbing, deal making, insecure. So here, group of words in the option B, that is passionate, intelligent, a gifted speech maker, describe snowball. So this is snowball's personality. Question number 18. Who does Napoleon play cards with at the end of the novel? Or novella, you may say. So here options are A, Mr. Frederick, 
B. Mr. Pilkington C. Mr. Jones D. Mr. Wimper So it is in the novella that uh, these pigs, the rulers, they become very much like animals and at the end of the play they drink alcohol, they sleep in uh, uh, bed and also they play cards and here this Napoleon the leader of that animal farm okay later on manor farm he plays cards with Mr. Pilkington at the end of the novella question number 19 what is boxer's ultimate fate fate that is destiny or you can say what happens with boxer at the end or ultimately finally Options are A. He gets shot by Mr. Wimper. B. The windmill fell on him and he died instantly. C. Snowball kills him. D. Napoleon sells him to the glue factory. So, what happens with Boxer ultimately, finally? That is, Boxer is sold to the glue factory. So, option D. Napoleon sells Boxer to the glue factory. Option D is the correct answer. Question number 20. What is the reason for the windmill's initial collapse? What is the reason? Options are A. The farmers blow it up with dynamite. B. It falls in a storm. C. Snowball sabotages it. D. Napoleon sabotages it but blames Snowball. So what is the reason? The windmill falls in a storm initially. Okay. So option B is the correct answer. Question number 21. Which of the following is not a theme of animal farm? So here there are three options which are the themes of animal farm whereas there is one option which is not a theme of animal farm. Options are A. Language is a powerful tool used improperly it can enslave and confuse us. B. Freedom and individual dignity must be carefully guarded. C. Animals are not capable of governing themselves and D. Power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. So here options A, B and D are about themes of the novel whereas option C that is animals are not capable of governing themselves is not a theme of this novella. Option C is the correct answer. Question number 22. Which animal has the best understanding of what is happening to the animals? Options are A. Snowball B. Benjamin C. Muriel D. Boxer So here Benjamin the donkey has the best understanding of what is happening to the animals. Option B is the correct answer. Question number 23. What kind of story does the author call animal farm? Options are A. Fairy tale B. Animal story C. Political story D. Revolutionary tale So actually uh, Animal Farm's title which George Orwell had in his mind and which he had given to publishers uh, for some initial publications okay, or for some initial editions that was there but later on it was omitted later on only Animal Farm remained the title but what was that part of the title in some initial editions? So it was Animal Farm, a fairy tale. So in the words of George Orwell, Animal Farm is a fairy tale. Question number 24. Who was forced to leave Animal Farm because he was Napoleon's main rival? Rival that is competitor. So who was forced to leave Animal Farm? Options are A. Old Major. B. Squealer C. Benjamin D. Snowball So Snowball was forced to leave Animal Farm because he was Napoleon's main competitor. So option D is the correct answer. Question number 25. What does Benjamin the donkey think about the rebellion? Options are A. He is moved to tears that it finally happened. B. He laughs at it. C. He says life will be hard no matter who is in charge. D. He wants to be in charge. So in the novella, at the beginning, the rebellion takes place. The animals overthrow the rule of Mr. Jones. Now they have their own rule, their own power. So they celebrate their victory over Mr. Jones. They express their joy. They dance. But only Benjamin the donkey does not take part in that uh, celebrations. 
So what was the reason? What does he think about that rebellion? So it is option C. That is he says life will be hard. Life will be difficult no matter who is in charge. No matter who is ruler. So option C is the correct answer. Question number 26. Who teaches the ship to chant four legs good, two legs better? Options are A. Napoleon. B. Squillar. C. Moses. D. Clover. So it is Squillar who teaches this ship to chant four legs good, two legs better. Question number 27. Which of the following pigs composes the song that replaces beasts of England? So options are A. Squillar. B. Snowball. C. Minimus. D. Maximus. So it is Minimus who composes this song in the praise of their leader Napoleon. And that song replaces the original song Beasts of England. So option C is the correct answer. Question number 28. Which animal voluntarily leaves the farm? Voluntarily that is willingly on its own. Nobody forces that animal to leave the farm. Options are A. Boxer. B. Squealer. C. Napoleon. D. Molly. So it is Molly which leaves animal farm willingly. Question number 29. What title does Napoleon eventually, that is finally, at the end, ultimately, assume for himself? So Napoleon declares himself one title. He calls himself at the end. So what does he call? Options are A, King of the Animals. B, President of the Republic. C, Lord of Manor Farm. D, God of Bess. So Napoleon finally declares that he is the president of the republic. Option B is the correct answer. Question number 30. Who reduces the ideals of animalism to the phrase four legs good, two legs bad? So these animals, uh, they uh, formulate seven commandments, seven rules for themselves. And uh, those seven rules, they are summarized. Okay, they are reduced in one quotation, in one line. And that line, that phrase is four legs good, two legs bad. So who comes up with this idea of four legs good, two legs bad? Options are A, Snowball, B, Squealer, C, Napoleon, and D, Boxer. So it is Snowball who coins this phrase four legs good, two legs bad. Question number 31, what kind of leader is Napoleon? So you have to describe Napoleon, the leader. Options are A. Benevolent. Benevolent that is uh, kind. B. Pragmatic. That is practical. C. Tyrannical. That is cruel. D. Hesitant. So definitely you, you can say that Napoleon is a tyrannical leader. Option C is the correct answer. Very cruel. Question number 32. How does Napoleon ultimately triumph over Snowball's intelligence? Options are A. Brute force. B. Better speeches. C. More allies. D. With human help. So there is continuous rivalry, competition between Napoleon and Snowball. Snowball is intelligent, a good speech maker. Whereas Napoleon is very cunning, shrewd and cruel. So Napoleon wants to be the supremo of that animal farm. So Napoleon finally is able to is able to force Snowball to leave that farm. So how does he do it? So he does it with brute force with the help of those nine dogs. Those nine dogs finally chase Snowball till he leaves animal farm. So option A is the correct answer. Question number 33. What does Boxer represent? Options are A, the slow-witted, indolent lower class, B, the aristocracy, C, the hard-working and exploited working class, D, capitalism. So, Boxer represents the hard-working and exploited working class. Option C is the correct answer. Question number 34, which revolution does Animal Farm pointedly condemn? Condemn that is satirize. Okay criticize. Options are A, the American Revolution, B, the French Revolution, C, the Industrial Revolution, D, the Russian Revolution. So here, 
George Orwell condemns the Russian revolution in the animal farm. Option D is the correct answer. Question number 35. What words are inscribed on the medals received by Snowball and Boxer? So Snowball and Boxer, they receive medals because of their bravery. They fought very bravely in the Battle of Cowshed and they received medals at the hands of Napoleon, the leader. So there is an inscription on their medals. So what that inscription reads? Options are A. Animal hero best class. B. Animal hero first class. C. Brave and gladiator. D. The brave animal. So that inscription reads animal hero first class. Option B is the correct answer. Question number 36. By the end of the novel, the final commandment states. Options are A. All animals are equal except the pigs. B. Some animals are more equal than others. C. No animal may rebel against another. D. No animal shall disobey Napoleon. So, uh, in the course of the time, the commandments, they change. And what is the change in the last commandment? So, what is the last commandment? Last commandment, original commandment is all animals are equal. So, the change is that all animals are equal but some animals are more equal than others so option b is the correct answer question number 37 on the flag for animal farm snowball paints what two objects options are a a hoof and a horn b a moon and a star c a hammer and a whip d a leaf and a flower so these animals they have their own flag and on that flag on green background they paint two objects and those two objects are a hoof and a horn so option a is the correct answer question number 38 which character provides contact to the human world for animal farm options are a frederick b foxwood c wimper d mr pilkington so it is through mr wimper that contact to the human world for animal farm is established. Option C is the correct answer. Question number 39. Identify the speaker. Donkeys live a long time. None of you have ever seen a dead donkey. So whose quotation is this? Who says this? Options are A. Benjamin. B. Napoleon. C. Squillar. D. Boxer. So it is Benjamin who says this statement. Question number 40. Orwell completed Animal Farm during what international conflict? Options are A. The Cold War. B. The Russo-Japanese War. C. World War II. D. The Vietnam War. So George Orwell completed this novella during an international event and that event was World War II. Option C is the correct answer. Question number 41. Animal farm fits all of the following genres except. So animal farm can be called three of them. There are three options. They fit okay, to animal farm. There is only one option which does not fit to the animal farm. So animal farm is an allegory. Animal farm is a fable. Animal farm is a satire. But definitely animal farm is not a farce so option d is the correct answer question number 42 in what year did the russian revolution occur now it is a question from the history books but you should know for the understanding of this novella options are a 1939 b 1924 c 1917 and d 1925 so it is the year 1917 when russian revolution took place Question number 43. The dogs in Animal Farm can be said to represent. Options are A. Foreign diplomats. B. Secret police. C. Farmers. D. Educated elites. So it is secret police. Because these dogs, they work for their leader Napoleon. As secret police works for the leader. So option B is the correct answer. The threat of what scares the animals into submission? Options are A. A trip to the glue factory. 
B. Pilkington's atrocities. C. Old Major's ghost. D. Jones's return. So every time when animals they have thought of rebellion or thoughts of resentment against their leader Napoleon or, or other leaders Snowball or Squealer, these animals are shown threat of Jones's return in order to scare. D is the correct answer. Question number 45. Squealer's job is to distribute what among the animals? Options are A. Propaganda. B. Reading materials. C. Weekly assignments. D. Ration. So, Squealer's job is to distribute propaganda among the animals. Question number 46. Which of the following is most clearly an example of propaganda? Options are A. The original seven commandments. B. The pig's decision to wear clothing. C. The reductions of rations. D. Squillar's optimistic statistics. So definitely Squillar's optimistic statistics about the production of uh, grains on their farm is an example of propaganda because in reality there is not growth in the production. There is not increase in the production of uh, corn or rations but still he shows very optimistically statistics that the uh, crops or the rations it has been increased since the arrival of Napoleon. Question number 47. Which of the following is not one of the seven commandments? So there are three commandments which are out of those seven but there is one commandment which is not. Options are A. No animal shall sleep in a bed. B. No animal shall dishonor Napoleon. C. No animal shall drink alcohol. D. No animal shall kill any other animal. So definitely option B that is no animal shall dishonor Napoleon is not in the original seven commandments. Question number 48. The pigs break all of the seven commandments except. Okay. So pigs who are the owners or masters of that uh, animal farm, they break commandments many of them so the question is the pigs break all of the seven command except options are a no animal shall drink alcohol b whatever goes upon two legs is an enemy c all animals are equal and d they break all of them so definitely these pigs they break all the commandments because they drink alcohol they sleep in bed and also they try to walk and um, finally they walk on two legs also and even there is not uh, uh, the equality among them. So they break all the commandments. Question number 49. What does Napoleon claim was his idea which was really Snowball's idea? Options are A. Building a bridge. B. Building a well. C. Building a windmill. D. Building an arsenal. So it was building a windmill which was originally Snowball's idea but which later on Napoleon claims that it was his idea. Question number 50 and the last one. What does Napoleon discover about Mr. Frederick's payment? Options are A. He sent a check instead of cash. B. It's fake money. C. It's twice as much as he expected. D. The suitcase of cash explodes when he tries to open it. So when a pile of timber is sold to Mr. Frederick, Mr. Frederick gives payment and Napoleon discovers one thing about that payment and what that thing is, what he discovers about that payment. So he discovers that the money is fake. That is, it's fake money. Option B is the correct answer. So friends, I hope that you liked this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and also share this video with your friends. And if you are new to my YouTube channel, remember to subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon to get the notifications of my latest videos right here on YouTube. So friends, we will meet in the next video. Thank you very much.